when children are abandoned, neglected or otherwise not safe with their parents or relatives. Being placed into the foster or orphanage system is a better option for children who would continue being abused or have to steer away from home and end up in dangerous circumstances on the street. The world and global society benefits when orphaned children are helped. Instead of arming themselves and others, they grow up to be responsible, healthy adults that give back to the community they live in instead of taking away from it. Adejoke Ilori has more on this report. All fingers are not equal and the need to always look out for children who are less privileged in the society is an important part of life and existence. Recently, in Ondo City, Kaftan TV crew took a thorough look into how things are being done in the orphanage homes. The orphanage is a place of refuge. It is a place of care and protection for the orphans, the abandoned, uh, the vulnerable children, and also the less privileged children in the society. Orphanage home, which some people call motherless home, is actually to cater for children that are wandering around or children that are motherless. Because most times when you can't you can compare the care a mother would give to a child to the care a father would give to a child. So most times, orphanage home is for motherless children, motherless babies actually, and for children that are wandering around, probably abandoned children or children giving birth by um, marriage women or abandoned children. About the inevitable challenges encountered while helping the children to have a good life, the caregivers have this to say. We have so many challenges, <laughs> starting from uh, um, accommodation. You know, we have to keep them in a good and safe shelter. Uh, and accommodation nowadays, especially when you don't have your own house yet, is a whole lot of money we pay in thousands of naira, you know, so that one is one part. In feeding, we have challenges in feedings. We need food to give them nutritional meals. Then we have challenges in clothing and in medical care, also in their education, because we try to put all the children in school. They are all in school. Insight on how the homes are managed and how adoptions are carried out by requests from the intended parent were highlighted. According to child right law, is either you want to foster a child or you want to adopt the child fully. When you want to foster a child, the child will still bear the his or her name or his or her son name, her name or her son name. That's fostering and at some certain age, the child will know that, okay, this, this is not my parents. Do you understand? So... At a certain age, the child might decide to want to leave the foster parents. But when you are talking about adopting a child, that's what we do majorly in orphanage. And when we adopt out a child, most um, it's very important that we adopt a child out at a very tender age, you know, that they can recall probably their past experiences in orphanage homes. So when you um, adopt a child, the child name changes completely. Everything about the child changes. So that's what adoption is about. And foster. When you foster out a child, the child still retain the name. The child still have memory of, okay, I don't belong to this particular parent. This is my home. This is where I belong. And I can decide to just, you know, maybe when you get to the age of 18 years, to leave the parents and probably cater for yourself if you can. The people that actually need help is the children. The governments could probably decide to, pay, uh, to place like one or two of the children on scholarship because most of the children here, they are very bright. And, well, they, they, they can take exams too for the scholarship, but I think when if the government can probably give them scholarship and tend to help them through their academic life, probably from primary school to um, university stage. Children are gifts and heritage from God. And to make the world a better place to be, every human is implored to join hands in bringing up every children in a good way and have good heart towards the less privileged.